Hey everybody, thanks for joining us for another editor scripting tutorial where we are continuing our progress on our enemy designer tool. And today we are going to continue working on our general settings window. Uh, we want to add a couple new fields, specifically slider fields. Um, and so yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So our sliders are going to be similar to our float fields. So I'm going to start off nice and easy by copying and pasting that block of code. And I'm going to change the label to percent crit chance. Next, I'm going to change my character data field from max energy to crit chance. And then instead of using editor GUI layout.float field, I want to use the slider function. Now the slider function takes three parameters, the first of which is the variable that you want to modify. The second is going to be the min value of the slider. And the third will be the max value of the slider. Now we have one more slider that we need to satisfy our character data requirements. And that is going to be power. So how powerful our character will be will be determined by this slider. I'm going to keep the min and max values of the slider the same. So let's see what effect this has on our window. Okay, so we got two slider fields, which is exactly what we wanted. The minimum will never go below zero and the max will not go below a hundred or above a hundred. Now we can do some interesting things with this since this tutorial is so short by its nature. Uh, let's say that we want to modify our power or our crit chance dependently on one another. In other words, let's say our crit chance will be limited by our power of our character. So what we can do is, what we'll want to do is change the order of this because theoretically we don't want a character who has low power to have a high crit chance. So we can modify the maximum value of our crit chance by the current value of our power. So we can say the maximum value will be our power. So let's see what effect this has on our sliders. Okay, so as you can see, if our power is zero, we're not even allowed to increase the value of our crit chance, which is what we want. Now let's say we set our power to 20. Our crit chance can never be higher than 20. Okay, so this gives you an idea of the flexibility of the layout system and the slider system given your own creativity. That's going to be it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.